Hey guys, John, Charlie, and Dave Sodaquist. We just got through doing the night for Colt. He's the comic book character. There's gonna be a movie probably. Dominic and those guys, you can see it on my site. It's really cool. But this is it. We're gonna go in and talk about it, tell what we did, and go from there. Come on in, guys. This is Colt. Come on over here, Dave. <coughs> and we're going to talk about what we did on each. And so anyway, first we're going to start out with Charlie. Tell him what you did. Well, so I did all the I did the steel here, and basically the way that this uh, that this stuff starts out, it starts out as a piece of cable. This is all 1095 steel. And uh, then take it, you'll be able to see on another video that we did um, that uh, we hammer forge it into a billet. It goes from there, I just st keep on hitting it, it takes a long time. But tell them what but, else uh, you did in it, put it in well, the inside. I drew it out and I folded it over with a big piece of meteorite in the center. So this, the core of this knife is, is a big bunch of meteorite. And uh, it, Heat, treat, and temper, and then we uh, send it over to uh, Dave to work his magic. <laughs> well, first, what I did is I ended up grinding out. Let me tell on this. Uh, oh, Dominic uh, sent me the uh, oh uh, oh uh, yeah the pattern. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, and this is the, he he has one of my knives. He has I think it's the Frankenstein, and he kind of took from the Frankenstein. So you can see he has a. Spanish notch here that you can actually catch and there's another one right here and uh, it turned out really cool really fast I did uh, a kind of a different grind we got to make it look like it's kind of the period he Colt is a uh, he's an Indian what's that post-apocalyptic yeah post yeah but he's kind of Mad Max yeah Indian. yeah yeah there you go and so we left it kind of rough and it has a bloodstone, uh, what they call right here. Uh, this is his insignia. That if you look at the picture of the, it's called uh, Tusk, the knife, you'll see it's exactly like that. And uh, you can see the patterns of the Damascus in there. And we left the, hand, the oh, uh, oh, hammer forged look in the middle. And then, so right when, Charlie got done with the, the blade forging it out, then that's what I do. And then it goes to Dave. What I do is I take the drawing that, uh, or the, uh, the scan that they sent to John of what the knife's supposed to look like, and uh, I design the, the handle. Handle uh, had to be horn with uh, brass, and so we, uh, I took this, cut it out, and then once I set it to the blade, I, uh, I had to build up the wax in the shapes of the pieces here, and then I did a lost wax casting, fit all the pieces together, and uh, then I turned it back to John, and John does then, the assembly. Yeah, and then it goes into the sheath. This is buffalo hide over heavy strap strapping, and this has a quick release to it goes right there so he'll be carrying this like this comes out that fast but we all had a hand in it uh, thank you guys you guys I got, you know what guys I have with me are the there's nobody better I'll tell you right now Charlie did a hell of a job on the Damascus and uh, the meteorite and the old saying is you know this could have a little bit of heaven or a little mm. bit of hell <laughs> <laughs> and Dave just, God, look at this, the craftsmanship. Dave, if you look at the picture, it's done just like the picture. This is going to be in Comic-Con uh, this, yeah, this week. Yeah, yeah. that's I'm, ta I'm actually driving it down. This is around $6,000 to $8,000. This is the meteorite and all the other stuff. It's, it's really cool. So if any of you other guys want something done, we can do it. Uh, you can see here's some of the cards Dave did up. 
Look at that. Isn't that cool? And I'll show you the other one he did up. So these will be at Comic Con. Oh, it is. Maybe that way. Or is that still blurry? Yeah, and then you can see some of the other stuff. Um, Charlie, I'll tell you a little bit. This is this is cable. Yeah, and you can see how that's etched. The cold knife, for some reason, maybe it might be the meteorite. Why it didn't it, etch it? Might. Yeah. Well, so I do the same process every time. As far as uh, when I was trying to figure out what to do with this steel, and I was putting it through torture tests. Uh, I came up with one process, one set of uh, temperature ranges and stuff to get it to hold an edge the, the best. And, and, uh, so that process doesn't change, but for some reason, the etching always ends up a little bit different and the pattern's always a little bit different. Well, you can so, definitely see the pattern here, but it just right. didn't, it didn't come out when we etched it, and I etched it for like three hours. And I have other stuff. You can see how this, this is only etched for about an hour, yeah, hour and a half, and you can see this. This is Dave. What do you use this for? Cutting my firewood. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> and look at that, how cool that is. Dave does all that. It is just too cool. And then this is another one we did. I uh, made the blade for Dave. This is A2, and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Dave just does excellent work. And then he did the stuff on the sheath. So it goes down through your belt. You can see how it looks up there like that. And then Dave did this sword. Uh, I didn't do this blade, did no, I? No, yeah, the, sword, got, the yeah. blade is a Paul Chen. Okay. But I just did the fittings. Yeah. So if there's something you guys want, you guys got a certain blade you want, we can do it with the blade. Really cool. You know? But uh, yeah, the guys I got with me just are master craftsmen. And my ideology, if I put together the best guys that can do you know, fantastic work, work, I, god damn, it's a win-win situation, you know, it's all, yeah, so, uh, so anyway, you guys look up Colt, Heavy Metal Magazine, and you'll see Tusk, and uh, hopefully there's going to be a movie on it, it looks like there might be, so, also, you can look up radiobrothers.com, is that what it is, Dominic and RC, a radio, their site is radiobrothers.com, you can check out uh, RC and, and Dominic's artwork on there. See what's coming up. Yeah, and then tell them about uh, your website. What's your website? BronzeAgeMiniatures.com. I don't have any of my metal, this kind of metal work on it yet, but I will. And uh, you guys can get a hold of me, Charlie, at RazorsEdge.us. My phone number is 801-918-3725. And hey, we can make uh, your dreams come true. And you know, these are battle ready. You can go out and fight the Mongol hordes. You know, Dave does. He goes cut, your chops. Or cut your firework. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the yeah, more. And this is kind of cool. Look at that. See that? But if I clean it up right there, it uh, to take that right out, and it still looks like it was the day we we got it. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, when it's edged deep and all that. It's so. got to be ten years old. Yeah. Yeah. So, cool. That's really bitching. Well, you guys, got some other things coming up. I'm dying of the heat in here. I don't know about you guys, God, it's hot in here. <laughs> yeah, I've been in my hot car. I'm taking off to California. No air conditioning. Uh, so, it's hot. It's all Lake. So, anyway, uh, keep your edges sharp, your powder dry. Do you have anything to say, Matthew? A lot of cool stuff. Wish I was talented like this. <laughs> you talented. You do the wrist armor, dude. You, you mm -hmm. And we got some neat things coming up. So, yeah. so anyway. It's true. Hey, guys. You guys got anything to say? Come see us at Razor's Edge. There you go. We'll see you guys later. Bye.